again hello boys and girls hello party people as you can see i bought a lot of Behringer stuff during the years uh, i want to explain why and why this is just another Behringer review the last two one videos uh, the last two videos were about Behringer stuff you know and uh, in this video i talk about the new radar module for Eurorack <clears throat> not too much in detail but I had an idea uh, to use it because uh, I'm playing live modular and it would be nice to use my voice uh, with some special effects so I um, yeah I thought this could be done or could be useful with this radar module and so I bought it um, just a few words about Behringer and why um, do I so uh, often Behringer reviews. It's about the modules are cheap, they have a lot of functionality, they are copies or clones from really uh, prominent uh, stuff. So, and yeah, it's easy to buy. So, I have often Behringer reviews here, here on my channel. So, come back to uh, Radar. So let's have a look, quite have a look. Um, the reason uh, why I uh, do this video is because uh, if you see this module in real life, it looks much better than on the website of Behringer and in the uh, first Behringer production video uh, on YouTube. So um, it's a wonderful color green, it's a happy green. You can see here. Um, and it's well built, it's small. Here you can see the piezo, um, the, mic uh, the microphone down the plate, the metal plate. And it's really good 3D, 3D plate. And yeah, I, I think it's okay, it's, it's, it's quite nice. I uh, just want to show. So now we come to the part of the review. Uh, I will use um, the following modules. I will use the radar where I put a microphone in and uh, then I use the mutable instruments warps and uh, we can make just but let us let surprise you um, and then I use uh, the mutable instruments what is the chip tune what is the chip tune? Um, module with all the 8-bit stuff. I don't know. You will see in just a few seconds. So stay tuned. It's very interesting uh, what I will do in the next uh, couple of minutes. Thanks for watching. Your penis head. Oh, I forgot something. Perhaps um, you have detect my hoodie, what I'm wearing. It's, uh, it's from Timu. Um, I tried several times to order stuff and it was successful, but uh, it's uh, the quality is uh, really crappy. It feels I'm, 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 I'm sweating a lot in this part. It's absolutely thin, thin like a paper, but it's really out of 100% acryl or plastic and it's, uh, it's hot. It's hot inside and I'm happy to uh, yeah, uh, in a couple of minutes I um, put it off. So, and what I ordered again is it's Christmas time, you know. Um, you see the Christmas tree, and I detect on Timu some very uh, very funny s stuff. And this is I uh, and this I want to show you. So um, I don't know if you if you detect what it is, but I will show you. So um, I think this is good for the Christmas tree. Huh? Um, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Okay, folks, let's take a look, a uh, short look on the front panel and the basic functions. So we have on the top right the gain knob for the internal microphone under this graphic. So you, now you cannot hear anything. I put the gain on and you see it. It's 
so this signal has an own output then we have the gate sensitivity it's high low middle and low attack phase short middle um, fast uh, slow middle fast and the decay time slow middle and also fast as outputs we have the microphone out or that what's coming in to the in goes to the out then we have the envelope out and the gate out so that's all and then we have three LEDs one for the gate one for the signal we create and this LED is I don't know I have to read your manual okay I read the manual and this is the clipping LED. So let us go straight forward. We I activate the preamplification of the internal microphone. So and you can see on the LEDs there's some there are some creations. I put now the envelope envelope is green gate is blue on the screen um, everything what I do here um, can be heard over my uh, microphone on my yeah on my head so um, let's start you see blue is the gate if I put the gate down then nothing happens so let's make our gate sensitivity is now high high middle and low okay the attack phase is the green one middle and slow okay and decay time let's make short that's longer and fast okay so this is all working correct now let's go to uh, working with um, audio signals. Now just an easy operation we have a kick drum on the plates and I just trigger with radar the kick drum. Sensitive very high so uh, you can trigger also up to the level and perhaps the signal of the microphone to the pitch see there's a lot happening on the on the screen so there are created a lot of CV have the microphone in my hands I will show it yes here it is and the cable goes down here in the input and the output goes to the, the data and then it goes to an IntelliJ output module so nothing special you hear the sound is uh, 
uh, with a lot of bass frequencies so and now we change the signal output to the output of the warps and you will be surprised another carrier signal it's coming from external gear so from the edges I switch off my microphone on the headset and now uh, the other microphone yes all right I have to put a little bit higher and now you can find what we can do with that check one two all right yes so, I can change the carrier signal with any oscillator out there, and then we can do... Check one, two... Now we're gonna break up a little bit. Check one, two, yeah, and go down. And can do some melodic parts, yes, yes. But I like the old school one, and this is the robotic voice of many science fiction. Yes, I love it. So perhaps I will use it live on my performance. So this is very good, yeah. Let's go back with the internal. Here again. This is also very nice and direct. I love it too, yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, this is what I want to show to you. This is a very special use, but I think it's very good. So at the end, I just want to talk about the connection of a microphone to the radar. So, as you can see here, it is a TRS check, so you have to use this kind of adapter and I plug in from the XLR microphone to mono plug plug it in and then it works so you see that's working so th it's a little bit tricky about that um, Perhaps there exists an adapter cable directly from XLR to this format. Um, I tried other mic microphones like these ones. Take a look. And they have this connection from smartphone. And this doesn't work. So if you plug it directly in, it does not work. So you have to build, perhaps, and solar your own connector using this and just another connection. For me, this is working. It's not the best way, but it's okay. Perhaps I will solder me an adapter.
now we're at the end of this video and I just want to give you a preview what's what's coming next I will make a top five of my favorite modules um, getting 2023 so just top five of my uh, favorite modules this year and then I will get from Game Changer Audio a new module it's called Plasma Voice it's a Eurorack module and I will check it so this will arrive soon so we can make uh, perhaps a longer video about it and this will be released in 2024 so uh, stay tuned I hope you like my uh, video it was uh, just a short one and ring the bell and leave a bookmark you know all the stuff thanks for watching your spinny set